Hello there, Bakayaro here again for another YouTube video. So I wanted to show you some of the newer features in uh, 1.9, uh, the newer version of Movecraft added a bunch of new stuff. Except I wanted something a bit more practical. I mean, last time it was kind of a demo video running through all the features, showing you how they worked. But this, I want to try to show you what you can do with these new features and how to use them in actual combat. So, here we are. This is on the build server. And uh, this is a ship I uh, recently completed. It is a armored cruiser. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically it's... Uh, it's a medium airship, no, I'm sorry, it is not a medium, it is a airship type, meaning that it is the fastest you can get going in a uh, uh, airship type vessel. Uh, just small enough that it does not count as a medium airship and is therefore faster. Uh, it is designed primarily to be heavily armored using the new endstone armor, uh, which is nice and tough. Uh, it, it is armed pretty well, uh, however, that's not most of the weight. Uh, most of the weight is armor. Uh, the guns are relatively light. They are high precision guns, not high brute force guns. That was the old way of designing things. In my opinion, at least, we'll see how it plays out, but in my opinion, the focus is now on high precision, highly aimable weapons that are relatively light. Why? So that you can have more and more of that tonnage going into armor. So let me show you the armor on this. Okay, so as you can see, all of the sides, let's see, they're, yeah, okay, all of the sides are armored and most of it is armored at least too thick with end stone. So two blocks worth of end stone along all sides and the front. Uh, Oh, the front is actually one block thick, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, and it's uh, spaced in this uh, kind of pattern. Uh, when I was playing with it, basically what I would do is I would have this thing uh, uh, sitting there and I would shoot it with the, well, with that gun right there. In fact, I was doing it right over here <laughs> when I was building this thing. So I would repeatedly shoot it with this, uh, look at the damage, and come up with a pattern that seemed to stop the damage the most reliably. Uh, and that's this pattern. Uh, so, yeah, okay, so yeah, it's supposed to be tough, right? That's the whole point of this. This thing is tough. It can take a lot of, a lot of damage, it can take a beating. Uh, and then the guns are, you know, they're not, I, I don't want to say that they're weak, they're really not. Uh, but they're high precision over brute force. Alright, alright, enough of that preamble. Uh, let me show you this thing in action. Okay, so there's a few interesting things about this ship. Uh, we've got, uh, okay, we've got Insane Engineer Roach, uh, who's going to help me with my uh, combat trials here. Uh, so he's in a smaller ship, and it's not updated to 1.9, so this is not a fair fight. But, uh, yeah, it's just a trial. Who cares, right? Uh, it's also true my ship is pretty much untested at this point. Um, anyway, uh, so, yeah, uh, something you may notice here is that this ship is designed so that it can move and you can fire the guns and it will automatically stop the ship while the gun is cycling. So what this helps is it helps you to be much more maneuverable. Uh, you, you can never, you can, if you wish, you can simply never stop moving. You're always moving around, making it hard for the enemy to kind of zero in on you. All right, so I can see him on my contacts and I can kind of track him a little bit. He's 250 blocks away, which means I'm not gonna be able to see him yet. Um, but I uh, just want to keep an eye out. Mostly at this point, I am looking for his tracers. So I'm hoping he might be trying to shoot at me. Uh, let me move up a little bit here. See if I can... Uh, uh, so one kind of weakness of this ship is uh, it's a little weak uh, from above. That is, if you let the enemy get above you, you might be in trouble. Because uh, the armor doesn't extend. Okay, there we go. So I can see him on the map here. Uh, we're both running parallel, and uh, I think I'm going to turn a little bit. I want to get a little further away because I, uh, range is to my advantage. Uh, he's got uh, some, some heavy scattershot guns, but uh, my guns should be a little more precise. All right, let's see. So I'm kind of firing blind here because uh, I can't see him visually, but I'm aiming using my mini-map. 
Uh, I should really change my view distance, but I'll do that after this battle. So I'm watching my tracers. I keep missing, so I know I need to adjust my aim a bit more. And I think that... No? All right, I'm going to turn because uh, I, I don't like... I've, I've been sitting still too long. I don't want to let him zero in on me, so I've got to move around a little bit. At least now I can see him. All right, let's try this again. Oh, and now I can't see him. <laughs> uh, you got to love that. Okay, but there we go. Okay, I can see off my map. I got a ricochet. I bounced some sh shells off his hull. So I'm just going to fire again. I must have it basically right. There we go, a hit. So if you look on my mini-map, there's a little blip. It's like a little uh, uh, light spot. Uh, that's because it rendered a hit. Um, the the plug-in automatically puts in a little light source so you can tell when you hit something. Uh, all right, so I've got at least one. Oh yeah, I got a good hit on him. His nose is all messed up. Let me uh, try and hit him again. And okay, I'm realizing I'm hitting over him, so I'm going to try and angle down a little bit, de-elevate my guns. Let's try this again. Okay, ah, oh, this is exactly what I did not want to have happen, is that I'm shooting either over the target or under the target. So, my, my much vaunted high precision guns are not highly precise enough. Oh, he's shooting a torp at me. It's gonna miss. I'm not worried about it. So I'm not even gonna try to avoid it, because I can see it's gonna go over my deck, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But yeah, ah, oh, I just can't get him. Well, actually, oh, this might get him. This might... No, no. <laughs> Okay, so I need to work on these guns. These guns are not high, uh, precise enough yet, but I already put some holes in them. So I bet if I... Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't make me stop. It does not make me stop uh, cruising when I use the A guns. I'm going to have to change that. I'll make it so that it stops me cruising when I use the A guns. And I've lit him on fire. Yeah, I've got him. Yep, he's going to sink. Anyway, sorry. Uh, so what I was trying to say there is... Uh, uh, I've learned a couple things about my ship, some things I need to fix. Uh, I need the guns to have better precision than what they did, because I would sometimes be shooting above and sometimes be shooting below the target. And, oh, hey, he's shooting at me. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh, he's sinking. Yep, down he goes. Yeah, he was, I think that was, uh, you know, he's, he's trying to go out in a blaze of glory. Uh, and he, I think he did hit me a few times. Um, but my armor held, and... Uh, yeah, so it's so a good test. Um, I just, uh, let's take a look here. Oh, huh. uh, maybe he didn't hit me. I, I thought I saw some shells coming pretty close, but I, I guess I guess I must have missed. Um, yeah, so I've learned a few things I need to fix. Uh, I need to make it so that the ship automatically stops when, uh, when you're firing AA. I need to make it so that the cannons are more precise. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can, I can, uh, uh, th get a get a little bit more testing here before I go. Um, well, it looks like he's game. Excellent. He's a uh, uh, you know good sport there uh, uh, from Mr. Roach. Okay. Uh, don't have any damage, so I should be good to just go again. All right, I'm gonna try and turn these. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try and engage him on the other side this time. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's pasted his ship yet or not. Uh, before we started, we kind of had this agreement that we would start our ships pretty far away. I think a lot of times when people are doing uh, combat testing, they have a tendency to start too close. And it's just not realistic. You know, half of the game is maneuvering into position kind of this uh, bit of a chess match. And yeah, since I have uh, fired my guns, I have, of course, moved. Because after you fire, you want to make sure you move. Um, yeah, huh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but... Uh, Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, uh, so after you fire your guns, you want to make sure you move, because firing your guns is like, say, you know, this is a big I'm here sign, go ahead and shoot me, I'm right over here, uh, so you want to be careful about that. Okay, let me turn, he's apparently on the other side, so, I'm, oh, I can't turn my turrets all the way around. Oh, that's a problem, that is a problem, <laughs> oh wait, no, okay, that's weird, okay, I, 
I don't know what went happen. I don't know what went wrong there. Uh, but uh, it seems to be fixed now. I was able to turn the turrets. Um, I okay. Uh, until I can fix the AA properly, I'm just going to put a cruise sign back here, just so that I can more easily stop the ship uh, to shoot my AA. Okay, eh, there I see him. He's to the south of me. Uh, okay, and he says he's ready. All right, so he's to the south of me. I'm going to try and take him along this side. Uh, he's 177 away, so I probably won't hit. I mean, you know, the guns are more than capable of it. The problem is I don't know what altitude to shoot at. So I need to get closer. Okay, I see him. There he is. Okay, now again, I'm just going to be aiming using my map. I have no idea. Oh, shoot. I forgot to uh, take the cannon director. Let's try that again. Okay, and I'm looking for those little lights to appear on my map, indicating a hit. And, yeah, once again, it's past the angle, so I need to turn the ship. And I'm going to move a little bit. Okay. And, uh, I, uh, I don't quite trust the automatic turning off system. I'm sorry, the automatic cruise stopping. Oh, I hit him! I hit him a couple times. Yep, that was a good hit. I bet he's taken some serious damage. Okay. At this point, I'm going to give him one more and then I'm going to hit him with that. Uh, I'm going to stop the ship. I could have done it back there, but anyway, I'm going to stop the ship. No, start... Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm clearly incompetent. Okay, here we go. This... <laughs> I should be able to light him up. And there we go. That should be a good kill. But, you know, you can never you can never have any explosions, right? So let's just Oh, and once again, oh, I hate that. I need to remember to switch director modes. Uh oh, hey, I missed that time. Looks like a ricochet. Yeah, it was a ricochet. Bounced off the hull. Just impacted on the surface. Didn't go in. Yeah, you guys probably won't catch that uh, Star Wars reference there. Sounds like you might be having some lag issues. Which, you know, that'll happen to anyone. Um, so, I think... Uh, yeah, I think he's basically dead at this point. So, I'm going to just turn alongside... Uh, so that I can get a good shot on the nose and finish him off. Because, <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Yeah, yeah, he's got some serious damage. I can see. All right, so let's just finish this. Man, I just cannot get that deflection shot. And he's not moving. I think he, uh... Yeah, oh, I need to fix those guns. Looks like he's got some water coming out. Yep, that's why he's not moving. Yep. Yep, that's a dead ship over there. Just put it out of its misery. Oh, yeah, you can see. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> okay, I was saying earlier I didn't quite trust the system that automatically sh stops the ship. That's why! <laughs> so it failed. The, the, that system failed, and I blew myself up. Good job. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's not quite there. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure I can fix it. So, okay. Some good testing. Found a few issues that need to be fixed. Um, oh, man. I totally I chewed through that ship. Poor Roach, man. I mean, this is not fair, like, at all. I, I, I think my ship has got to be at least twice his size. But he's a good sport. He's, he's uh, letting me get some good uh, uh, combat trials in here. It's kind of impressive that thing still flies. <laughs> Gotta give him credit for that. I mean, that does not look like it should be flying. But uh, clearly it does. Good, uh, good shot in the engine. Would have finished it. But eh, too late now. I blew myself up. Alright, so clearly I've got some work to do 
uh, and uh, and I'm going to go do that work.